March is Women's History Month, and all month long, WGN is highlighting the important contributions made by women across a variety of industries. New tonight, we're focusing on music and the role black women played in shaping the industry as we know it today. Marcellus Reynolds, author and actor, and he's the author of Supreme Sirens, iconic black women who revolutionized music. He's joining us in studio to discuss what is a beautiful book with Missy Elliott right there on the cover. Yes, the queen, the queen. Missy, <laughs> Miss Demina Elliott. I was flipping through this, and you just have everyone who spans the generations. Anyone who grew up listening to music is going to open it up and be like, ah, I love her. Well, what I think is really important about the books is, of course, they're tabletop books and they're for maybe a new generation, but I want the new generation of TikTokers yes. to learn something about the women that, like, existed before. Right. So you're going to see like Cardi B in the book. You're going to see Nicki Minaj. You're going to see Chloe and Haley. But you're also going to learn something about um, Lena Horne and Dinah Washington and Mahalia Jackson wow. along the way. And I think that's really important. You had the opportunity to interview some of the artists for this book. What stands out to you? Any, any interesting tidbits you can share? Um, I think the common thread with this book in particular, because this is my third in the series, is tenacity. These uh -huh. women would not give up. I mean, I got to interview Roberta Flack, mm -hmm. and Roberta Flack really is one of the most talented musicians ever, but she spent 10 years as a school teacher because she couldn't get into the recording um, studio and, yeah. and, and she couldn't get a record deal. Mm -hmm. So while she was still pay, you know, pounding the pavement and singing for her supper at night, she was teaching music during the day. She had a day job. She had a day job. And that's what it takes to be successful. she didn't give up. Yeah. That's an important lesson to learn. Um, and one that's repeated, I'm sure, dozens of times. Throughout the book. You mentioned you've had two books before. Can you tell us about those and, and what inspired you to create a third? Well, the first book is Supreme Models. The second book is Supreme Actresses. And I think that each book gives birth to the next book. So when I was finishing Supreme Models, I was like, ooh, actresses, because there was that wonderful overlap. And when I was finishing Supreme Actresses, I was in this space of like, the original Broadway play Dream Girls yes. with Loretta Devine and with Shirley Ralph. And then I was in Dream Girls the movie with Beyonce, Beyonce. and Jennifer Hudson. Yeah. And then I was like, wait, uh, so all these like singers want to be actresses, so the next book is Sirens. And I just love the word Sirens. Let's talk about the word. Why did you choose that word? It's sexy it's evocative yeah. you know sirens you know notoriously with their song with like drive sailors mad <laughs> yeah. and i think this um songstresses is too long and clunky but i think that singers are the soundtrack of our lives right when Absolutely. good times and bad times we like think about that song that inspires us or that song that brings back a memory Absolutely. sirens sirens um what do you hope people who go to the bookstore and see this go to the library and see this they open it up what do you want them to feel uh, how do you want them to be inspired what i want people to understand with this with the work of all these women in all three of my books is that each woman opens the door for the woman next behind her you know, ahead of her. So it's like, you've got somebody like a Josephine Baker, and if there were no Josephine Baker, there would be no Grace Jones. If there were no Grace Jones, there would be no Beyonce and no Rihanna. Yeah. It's a wonderful through line that like creates this, this easiness. The business isn't easy ever. Couldn't be, yeah. But because that woman existed before you, it's easier now. Right. And when you flip through it, you do see a lot of images of these women winning, winning awards. That was, I'm so happy you got that. That was very important to me. I wanted to, well, I wanted to normalize black women winning Absolutely. first and foremost. Yeah. But I did want, there's something so amazing when you see somebody that actually has gotten to the top and you see them in that moment where they've won. Mm -hmm. There's that wonderful photo of Rihanna holding her Grammy. Yes. And you never see Rihanna, Rihanna has multiple Grammys and you never see her holding Grammys. I had to dig to find a picture of baby Rihanna holding her her Grammy you know yeah. what I mean and since then she's probably won like eight or nine more and so there's that idea that 
You know, there's Queen Latifah holding her SAG Award, which is really important to her because she started out as a rapper, but she's also an incredible actress. And there's, of course, Jennifer Hudson, who's holding the Oscar. And, in some, and at the beginning of the book, my introduction, I say, the black singer is never just a singer. She's a multi-hyphenate performer that changes every industry she walks in. That's beautiful. Uh, Marcellus, thank you so much for being here. Physical and digital copies of Marcellus's book is available at the retailers you see on your screen. And we'll be right back. Thank you so much for having yeah, me. Yeah, thank you for being here. <laughs>